Hi guys, here we are now to wrap up and few significances about pressure testing BOP using test plug and cup tester, or another name, casing cup tester or test cup. Here we start first with the test plug. Here are a few important notes about test plugs. You can see in the diagram here, we close the upper pipe ram, we apply the pressure via the Q line here, the pressure will be acting against the test plug. So number one, test plug sits onto the wellhead profile, it has two O-rings. You can see on the picture here, two rings here, one, two, and here, sealing against the profile of the well head. Number two, the test plug itself is a solid tool. It's not a true bore tool. It's some combination tool. If it's upright like this, it's a test plug. If you turn it upside down, it's a well bushing running tool. Here are the well bushings, okay? And number three, very important, you need to open the well head and the wind valve here in case the test plug fail. Then the pressure will be vented off through the well head wind valve to atmosphere. That's all about test plug. About casing cup tester, similar in here, if you close up a pipe ram in here and you pump into the Q line here, you apply the pressure, the pressure will be acting against the cup tester all the way down here. Okay, so this is the diagram, a quick look, exploded view of the uh, cup tester. The ceiling element here is a rubber chunk here in the middle. So this is the main row and the uh, bottom sub in here, the old through wall in here. So for example, this here, the purple walls here, they are the casing. So the cup tester, itself is a true bore tool. So below it, you run with open-ended drill pipe. On the top of the test string here, you keep it open to the atmosphere. So that in case the test cup fails, the pressure will be bled off through the test string to the atmosphere. All right. And the cup tester, where does it sit? It doesn't sit on the well head. It sits inside the ID of the casing. So in here, you see the wall here, the purple wall. Here is the wall of the casing. The, the big the capital D is ID of the casing. The small D, lowercase d, is the, out, the outer diameter of the drill pipe, right, where you run your test cup uh, on. All right. So when you apply the pressure, the pressure acts, the pressure acts against the rubber chunk in here. It exerts a tensile load on the test string above it. So when you test, make sure that you don't exceed maximum 80% of the burst rating of the casing. So here is the formula how you use, how to work out the uh, tensile load on the landing string, on the test string here. All right, use this one, formula here. With the big D is the ID of the casing, and the small D is the OD of the drill pipe. So for example, if you have a seven inch ID of the casing and a five inch OD of the test pipe in here, all right, and you're testing up to 5,000 PSI, you work out about 94,248 pounds tensile load on the test string. And that's all about the test cup and test plug. Hope you enjoy it. Cheese.